What's going on, guys? Welcome to my Doom Eternal playthrough. This is my very first time. Oh no. Uh, just, just ignore all. Speaking of that, what's going on, guys? It's me, Tony Nico. Welcome back to another stream. How's everybody's day going? We're going to be looking at some more Under the Mail stuff here today. Checking out this video right here, Under the Mail Ultra Kill Review. Be like, this video is funny right here because I feel like this points out a lot of Under the Mail's like hypocritical flaws and stuff that he'd be coming up with in the points he says in his videos and stuff. But anyway, welcome back to another stream. How's everybody's day going? We're going to be getting into some uh, light gaming as well in a, in a few after we're done checking out some more stuff. Uh, For all of this, very so first time. Should be at the. Playing Doom Eternal. Mm. <laughs> we're mm. gonna so. play on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> this video right here. You guys remember when Under the Mail was talking about how. Is everything oh yeah i think everything is fine see 100 useless bro 100 useless i don't need to use your game's mechanics on nightmare difficulty i don't need it yeah i'm gonna handicap myself this entire time i i personally think is it still it's still going right yeah okay i thought something was going on this game is pretty boring, but now, now we get. Uh, let me see. Hell flame god, yo. What's going on? Is uh the audio? The audio should be working fine. I believe I fixed it this time. Um, but let me know if there's anything wrong with the audio in the darn, in in the video or anything. If it's like reverberating or anything again, but I'm pretty sure I fixed it this time. But, um, so you guys remember when Under the Mail was talking about how how the entirety of Act 1 was easy as fuck because you can just completely use the, the, the pistol or the piercer as it's called an ultra kill and you ain't got to ever switch weapons or anything like that. Well, take a look at this video right here where this guy is literally just using the assault rifle the entire time throughout the entirety of Doom Eternal, if I'm not mistaken. Not just Act 1. <laughs> it was funny as heck. This video right here completely disregards Under the Mail's points because you can apply the logic to any game that you can just use the starter weapon and stuff and then just and make the game easy and, and it doesn't incentivize you to use anything else. Like, you can play in a boring way with pretty much any video game, but you don't have to. That's your choice. See, the good part. See, I, I'm not going to be punished at all throughout this entire playthrough. Because I have literally an overpowered weapon here. See? I just mowed those two guys down. Effortlessly. Yeah, I can just stay back, bro. I can just stay back. Play in the most boring way possible and look at that look at that he's already dead he's already dead why would i ever use the shotgun what's that limited ammo not my problem i got infinite ammo right here dude why would i ever use that just literally <laughs> pace your shots bro i don't care if there's all the shotgun ammo right here <laughs> yeah this game is he's literally just using one weapon i can it is boring when you play when you go out your way to make the game intentionally boring by just using one weapon then that's on you that's not the game's fault oh. <laughs> this oh, is no. so funny yeah let me just let me just kill it still either way with just the assault rifle you right, only need the precision bolt like and minutes. the assault okay. rifle everyone trust me sources i am doom eternal why would I ever use my shotgun? That pass engagement. So the audio is working fine, useless. isn't it? It's not like echoing or anything, right? The people? only useful thing about the shotgun. Like you, can you guys hear me as well? Is it working fine? 
Bruh. Just, just yeah, let me know in the comments. Easily pull so. out the shot. Well, I'm pretty sure I but fixed you know it what? last this night. Is working when the stream was over. Fine. Just gotta zone them out, bro. Oh, what's that? I get ammo now? Let's. <laughs> Look at this, man. Like, he's not even using any other weapon. Just like, freaking. Well, except the chains ought to get ammo back, but still. I mean, but like. <laughs> it's almost like how freaking. It's almost like how Under the Mail was just using the pistol the entire time throughout Ultra Kill's first act. Yes, it's working good. Yes, it's working good. Okay, so you guys can hear me perfectly, and the audio for the video is not, like, echoing or nothing, right? That's what you're saying? Go. <gasps> yeah, see? <laughs> this works, too. I don't even need to use the nades at that point, huh? Oh no, what will I ever do? By the way, people, in case you guys don't know, he's not playing on an easy difficulty either. Okay, like, remember when Under the Mail was saying that uh, Ultra Kill is not is not that hard, really, throughout the entirety of Act 1? And he was playing on one of the harder difficulties that was released at the time. Well, guess what difficulty this guy is playing on? He's playing on, I believe, the second hardest difficulty. He's playing on Nightmare. And then afterwards, there's Ultra Nightmare. He's playing this game on Nightmare, and he's just beating it with the assault rifle. <laughs> and a few sticky bombs and stuff. Not like I'm gonna do the same thing that I've been doing for the past few minutes. Like, look at this. He he's he's playing on Nightmare, people. Right like, here. this isn't an easy Using difficulty. He's playing on Nightmare. For and you, you can't make the argument either that, oh, well, he's already an expert at Doom Eternal, which is why he's able to do this. Or he's an expert at FPS games because if that's the case, that logic can be applied to Under the Mail as well because he's also an expert at FPS games. Like, this dude plays Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. Under the Mail has played it multiple times, okay? He played Ultra Nightmare multiple times on Doom Eternal and beaten it. Like, he even did a playthrough on his channel. So, you can't make that logic either that he's already an oh, expert with the why it's easy. Part, there's still more ammo. that can be applied to Mail as well. I quite literally can just keep doing this, going on unpunished in the first few levels of the game. Oh, no, where's my- I, I left my comment here on this video, it's the funniest part. It was the funniest part. <laughs> Almost thought you were under the mail himself with how spot on your impression of him was, and he hearted my comment. <laughs> 212 people like that. It's funny you as You know what? It, it's working. Because it's so, so true. Why I ever use a It's shotgun? so true. Okay, you know what? Actually, it's looking a little bit low texture for a bit. So, actually, let's bump it back up to 1080p 60fps. Yeah, that looks somewhat better. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? I Look how he just barrel rolled it. There, but I like, can't. I'm not interested in secret. By the way, everybody, I just got my Nintendo Switch today and just came in the mail. Incorrectly, I gotta buy some games for it now. I'm, it. I'm super excited to play like Bayonetta 3 in Breath of the Wild 2, or well, Tears of the Fallen ah, Kingdom as it's called. Metroid I literally just got my Nintendo Switch today in the mail. It's really great escapes actually. Escapes and Samus gets her shit taken. They only gets easier from here. Oh, uh, what's that? A plasma rifle? I'm not Why would interested. I ever use that? No, nah, just keep using the assault rifle. <laughs> See, even the game is showing me that the assault rifle's pretty insane, dude. Oh my god, I can't. Yo, this is literally how Under the Mail was playing Ultra Kill Act 1. <laughs> wait till, you, wait till he gets to the Doom Hunter and see how he beats this him is literally with just working. the assault rifle. It's so this fucking funny. working, by the way. Oh no, whatever shall I do now that I'm out of ammo? <laughs> Damn, are there any more enemies? Oh, well, never mind. Now I got just some ammo. ammo so, like, Wait, watch this, watch this. He oh, couldn't even, oh, he couldn't even, like, glory oh, kill him. He, he just died. exploded. Oh, oh. <laughs> he literally just Probably exploded. Just I can't. Waited. Quick scope. Why would you need to teach me quick scoping? Do you know who the fuck I am? I can't, man. It's so funny. Do you have it any idea who the funny. fuck I am? 
And why would I need to aim at the weak point of a revenant? He's already pretty bad. And he's just standing in the lava. Yo, I'm breaking the AI progressively by doing this shit. See, look at all the ammunition. I could probably use a different gun, I wonder. Honestly, this is such a boring game. I'm not being pushed to my limits, even though it's only the beginning. Oh, well, why was it? It's frozen! It's frozen! What a hard fight, bro, for this dramatic-ass music. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, you're gonna open up your mouths. This is the funniest thing ever, I swear. Like, I swear to you, Under the Mail does not realize his logic can apply to his video game as well, that he holds up to such a high standard. This video right here is such good proof of this. Hold on, let's read some more comments real quick. <laughs> Under the Mayo's criteria for a good game. Or, is it Doom Eternal? Is it Doom Eternal? Is it Doom Eternal? Oh my god, that's funny as hell. This is infinitely more tolerable than Mayo's video, probably because it's impossible to replicate Mayo's pretentiousness and because you're actually entertaining. Wow. Um. Uh, <laughs> Sex is boring, there's no micromanaging resources. Or style meter, give me an incentive to do better. Bad game design. Under the mayo, probably. <laughs> I can't. Yo, I swear to you, YouTube comment sections are the funniest thing ever. I swear to you. See how the game lets me kill the demons from far on my rifle instead of forcing me to get up close and personal? That's bad game design. How dare you give me multiple ways to face my enemies instead of railroading me into a specific playstyle? You see, that's the thing. I had a bunch of people telling me that Doom Eternal forces you into a specific playstyle, and that that right there is what's limiting its player base. While, like, if you look at Ultra Kill, that game is is at one of Steam's top sellers and highest rated. So, like, I, I don't know, man. And Ultra Kill is all about freedom and creativity and doing whatever the hell you want. Like, freedom of choice. And that's the thing, is that Under the Mayo doesn't understand that. He doesn't want a game that gives you freedom of choice. Which is funny, because he acknowledged that that Doom Eternal allows you to play in creative ways. And he took the time to learn those mechanics, but he doesn't want to do the same thing for Ultra Kill. I mean, he doesn't have to, but you can't sit there and disregard the fact that they're there. And just say that the mechanics, like the style meter and the fact that you have limited ammo, I mean, unlimited ammo in Ultra Kill is just Oh, pointless. he's already dead. I only shot his rockets and he's already dead. It's starting to oh. bore me how easy this is. Like, I can really just only use the machine gun. Look at that FPS. Must be playing Oops. on an RTX. Whoa, 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 whoa. he was, he's still frozen. FPS. He's still frozen and he's moving. Wow. This is ridiculous. Oh no, what will I This ever video is do? golden. I know, I'm right? I'm at ammo. Maybe... Yo, welcome to the stream, man. How's Maybe it going, I gotta man? I switch weapons. Oh, uh, <laughs> never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at this, man. He's literally just using the assault rifle. He's not even using the micro missiles either. He's just using the assault rifle and the, the sniper mod. It's uncanny how easy Or the precision is. bolt, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it's called. I, I can't. This, this is ridiculous. And he's made it oh, farther shit. in this well, game than probably mind, other male has in Ultra Kill. <laughs> I mean, but then again, the game is an early assets, but... <laughs> so, literally, easy ass pie. I... I don't... Oh, I they're gonna make like you this. Noob. Don't that. It is so easy to kill the Mancubus, by the way. By the way. Oh, shit. Um, You're behind me now. Six six six. I watched one where he role played Mayo. If he played Ultra Kill Souls oh, games in Portal, it's in funny that as situation. fuck. Yeah, I gotta see those ones. I think I watched his Ultra Kill video. I, I didn't know he did one for enemies. like him playing Souls Will games they and stuff. Come I gotta watch his other ones. Funny as hell. Like this oh, guy is super night. funny. I want the spot night. on impression. I swear. Ugh. 
Did he? He killed himself. How? How? Oh no! I know. I, I know the tip gave me something about. <laughs> See, the assault rifle is the best weapon in the game, arguably. No. <laughs> Yeah, for once, uh, for Why once, I'm just gonna use the pull out the launcher. shotgun, The assault right? rifle is so easy to I'm use. I'm just gonna pull out the shotgun. Oh, never mind, I guess this run is over. He switched to a different weapon. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing that much, though. He's using he's using the assault shotgun, if I'm not mistaken, the pump shotgun, and it's not even doing that much. See, when I use the shotgun, I die. <laughs> like, why would I use anything else? Oh my god, bro. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know if that peaked the microphone or not, but I just had to laugh right there. When I used the shotgun, I died. I can't. Like, why would you ever use something that that's clearly not, you know, designed well enough? I'd rather use the assault rifle, it's too overpowered. And yep, now I'm back to full ammo. Keep in mind, the assault rifle is one of the first weapons you get as well. Well, the shotgun is the first weapon, but the assault rifle, I think, comes Give me next, that. I think. Literally actively zoning them out, bro. This is kind of depressing. Man, I haven't played Doom Eternal in, like, months. Oh, and just like that, they're staggered. The too. game is great. Don't get me wrong. I got a lot of people telling me that the game is complete horseshit anyway, and that just Under like the Mayo's that. take about yeah, Doom Eternal being good I, is just I'm not being is, is horrible because the game sucks. The and I gotta say, man, I don't know about that. Like, it's yeah, fine if you I'm think Doom Eternal sucks, but listen, man, okay, I think the game shit. is amazing. I'm not dying. I wouldn't fault people if they really think it's one of the best FPS games ever made. Like, this. it's truly well designed. I know, it's only the beginning, and but like, it's, it's, it's amazing, okay? It's not it perfect, like but it's definitely challenge, amazing. Please? You can't fault that. I'm playing on the hardest right? difficulty for a reason. Like, I don't make these videos to just shit on, like, under, uh, under the mail coming. and then crap I on the fact that he likes Doom Eternal more than anything else. All right, I make these videos to like point out his super critical flaws and like straw manning arguments because at the end of the day, I, mean, I, had a I had someone in my comment okay, section yeah, like, like, okay, so I had someone in my comment section telling me yesterday that this video that I made on Under the Mail pretty much equates to bullying. I, I just, I don't understand how you can come to that right there that you really think my video equates to bullying Under the Mail. Like, at the end of the day, man, it's a freaking video where I'm pointing out some hypocritical points about him and having a good laugh at it. Pointing out some stupid things he does. If you honestly think my video equates to bullying, then I'm sorry, man. It, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told this person in the conversation. I believe you got to be some kind of an idiot, okay, if you really think my video equates to bullying. That is stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. <laughs> that is so stupid for you to think that some video like this equates to bullying. Like, really? It's an online video where I'm just criticizing someone's points and getting a good laugh out of it. <laughs> I just, I don't understand how you think this equates to bullying someone. Really. Okay. Um, after watching Mayo's Vid, I played Ultra Kill for the first time. Easily one of my favorite games ever. Hey, man, that's great. I, I played Ultra Kill as well. The game is really a blast. I can definitely tell why people like it. It really feels like Devil May Cry put into like an FPS game. Uh, Hypocrona 66 male. You must cycle through different weapons in Doom Eternal also male. Uses only the revolver and ultra kill me confused face meme. <laughs> it, it just, it writes itself, right Hypocrite Hunter? It, I swear to you, it just writes itself. Three revenants. I would be intimidated by that, except they're revenants. They quite literally can't do shit. Another thing I had was people telling me about like the PS5 like donation thing was is not exactly all that bad. And well, I, I guess you can make that point for his audience, you know, and I had people harping on me about that, about the whole charity thing, which I honestly did not know he actually really did do a charity, which is why in my follow up video, I pointed out the fact that he did do a charity and that it was a really good thing. Uh, obviously, you know, donating to charity and setting up charity donations is a really good thing. However, I'm still not exactly a fan of the whole, you know, help me get a PS5 so I can criticize this game in a franchise that I think has gone off the rails and I already know I'm going to dislike this game. So if you guys want your review of me playing this game, you got to help me get a PS5. I'm not exactly a fan of that, okay? Like, 
it, it's whatever you know if people if people don't see an issue with it that's fine but that's like me that's like okay so i'm a huge fan of bayonetta all right now what if i was a fan of bayonetta one but i dislike bayonetta two and i can see that bayonetta three is coming out and it's going to be exactly like bayonetta two and i'm not liking that so I don't have a Nintendo Switch to get Bayonetta 3, so I ask you guys to donate to me in Super Chat to help me get a Switch so I can review Bayonetta 3 when you already know I'm just going to hate on the dark game. I feel like that's a little, that's that's just a bit iffy, by the way, okay? Like, asking for my audience to donate to me so I can review a game from a franchise that I think is turning shitty and the new game that I already think is going to be shitty, despite the fact it's not even out yet. And that's the only way you guys are getting a review out of me. I mean, like, I, I don't I don't know, man. I would never ask my audience to do something like that, okay? I'd rather just go get it on my darn own. I mean, and keep in mind, I do have I do have the super chats and everything on, but that's not required at all for you guys to donate to me at all. I don't want you guys to feel like that's obligated in any way, shape, or form for you guys to sit here and use use super chats, okay? I honestly do not care at the end of the day. Don't don't even feel like you're pressured to do that at all. They're struggling. See, I am allowed to get away with this shit. Why would I use anything else, dude? Limited ammo, low ammo. When was that an issue, huh? Ooh, this is the part. Okay, after this part, I believe he's getting to the Doom Hunter boss fight. Never this, was, this never so will funny. be. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, when he beats the, the darn Doom Hunter with just the assault rifle. <laughs> oh, I caused it to blow up. I'm quite literally just tr trolling this revenue. I only bro. apologize for not acknowledging that he What's did he charity for hurt me uh, for MSF. Literally the I'm, weakest I'm sure one of his for. class. I still stand by my criticism of his but behavior on stream. Exactly, that's how I feel too as well. Though. Is that I apologize for the fact that Why would I, I, that, um, that I pointed out that he wasn't really doing a charity when he actually did. And Why made it seem like he was that? acting scummy and was just calling the PS5 donation a charity. So I apologize for that fact already. Ooh, However, all the other things ammo. I criticize him for, I still stand by those points. Be my guest. Okay? He actually did the charity, but I, well, all those other things I criticize him about, I still stand by those. <laughs> Look at these speeding it up because it's getting boring. Again, I can switch weapons, but I've been getting away with it so far. Uncanny, bro. I'm not even being tested. I'm not even being tested by this game. Like, what the hell, dude? I sure hope there isn't any sort of skill checks in this game. Doctors that Without Borders. Oh, that's what you were trying to say. Okay, Doctors Without Borders. Yeah, he actually, yeah, he actually did charity for Doctors Without Borders. It's really good. challenging me and pushing me to use the other stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I bet if I just only use the machine gun. Nah, I kind of wish I they would put I all the Bayo games as well as the older God of War games on PC bro. because I'm not getting a Switch for one game. Yo, I feel like that should be a thing too, is that like, I feel like all the Bayonetta and God of War games should definitely go on PC. It's different with God of War because God of War was built up by Sony. Santa Monica Studios is owned by Sony. It start, the God of War game started with Sony. So they're just now putting some of their games on PC. But with Bayonetta, it's different. Bayonetta 1 was on all platforms when it released because Platinum Games isn't owned by anybody and nobody owned the Bayonetta IP. It was new. However, Platinum Games tried to get Sony to buy the rights for like uh, the Bayonetta IP so they can put their games on their console. Sony didn't want it. They tried it with Xbox. Xbox didn't want the Bayonetta IP. Nintendo was the only people who took, well, the only company who took the Bayonetta IP It was like, all right, we'll help you fund for a sequel. And that's exactly why Bayonetta 1 and 2 is now on the Nintendo console and not anywhere else. Because Nintendo picked them up when nobody would else, when nobody else would pick up the Bayonetta IP to help with the rights of the game. So, if it wasn't for Nintendo, we wouldn't even be getting a new Bayonetta. Like, at all. We wouldn't be getting us the Bayonetta 2, Bayonetta 3, and whatever else is coming in the future if this isn't the last one. We wouldn't. If it and th that's the funny part because Bayonetta is a you know kind of like risque game all about the sexiness theme and all that and yet yeah, Nintendo is supposed to be a family friendly company, but they picked up a game like Bayonetta, and didn't even they didn't even limit uh, Platinum Games' uh, 
creativity or nothing with the Bayonetta games at all. They told them, hey, just do whatever you want and even help them and show them ideas and stuff. Like in Bayonetta 2, there's literally like a Nintendo costume where you can dress up as like Peach or like Link and stuff. You can even use his Master Sword and all that. One of the weapons you get is a is the Chomp from Mario. It's funny. Like if it wasn't for Bayonetta, I mean, if it wasn't for Nintendo, we wouldn't even be getting further Bayonetta games. Also, it's odd because I used to get the new console every time they come out, but since I got a PC, there's no point in the console. And I mean, I like some of the exclusives that comes out for some of the consoles, like for PlayStation and Nintendo, which is why I like I like playing on all platforms. I don't just have like a PC. I mean, well, right now I got a PC, but before that, I used to just play on PlayStation, and Xbox. But you know, I wanted to try the PC platform for a little bit, see what kind of games they had there. But really, I like trying out all kind of like platforms and stuff because. I feel like they each have their own merits. They each have their own games that I want to enjoy. Like PlayStation, they got God of War and they got um, Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man games. I want to play those. Xbox, they got Forza. They got Sunset Overdrive, even though it's an old game. And well, they got Game Pass. <laughs> I want to, uh, you know, but Game Pass is on PC as well. Nintendo, we already know about Nintendo. They got the, they got the. Legend of Zelda, Mario games, Metroid, and all that. I want to try those out. That's great. Um, what's up, man? Thanks for the video about him. Ultra Kill is one of the best, most fun games. I know he's just refusing to learn the mechanics. Yeah, he. And the funny thing about it is in his latest video on Ultra Kill and the whole drama and stuff, he was like, "Some I don't play Ultra Kill with only a pe with only a pistol, guys. I really don't." Okay, I can understand why people love the game. Yet, in his other videos, he was literally talking about somehow he was only using the pistol during Act 1 because it's super easy to do so and the game doesn't push you to try any other weapons. Um, yeah, I heard about that. I also found out that Xbox had no to the Spider-Man IP. I mean, to the Spider-Man IP. Jeez, Lord, what is with my grammar today? The Spider-Man IP. Sheesh, really? I mean, wow. They really missed out right there, but... Microsoft is already a big mega conglomerate of a company any darn way, okay? They they make enough money as is, but still, you know, that's crazy how they didn't even pick up the Spider-Man IP. It's probably why Sony and them got it, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or do they own the rights to the games now, I think? I don't know. Not gonna lie, Xbox not picking up the Spider-Man IP is a huge L. Yeah, that's a huge L in my book, for real. I bet if I just look at this, he's literally beating the Doom Hunter with just the assault rifle. It's funny. There's just no way. In and then afterwards, he shows how he's playing on nightmare difficulty, and that it still feels too easy. Oh nope! I can just really zone him out, huh? There's just no um, way. Nothing happened to the stream, did it? Did you eat this guy? Bro, like the joke was that I was supposed to get my ass beat on like nightmare um, difficulty. Anything happened to the darn stream? No, it's still going. Okay. I thought something had happened. Like, hold on, hold on. I'm not even joking. This is on nightmare difficulty. The fuck, Mayo? The fuck, See? Mayo? He's literally How playing on nightmare first difficulty. Skill check, the first skill check of this game isn't actually a skill check. Are you shitting me? Nah, this is actually kind of sad that I can do this. For real. It He's literally playing on Nightmare difficulty, like he just showed. It's I can't. It's hard to sandwich a fucking 500 pound fast moving gorilla, huh? Oh, there we go. He killed the Doom Hunter with just a darn freaking assault rifle. Okay, here come the Prowlers. Wow. Can I explain this under the mayo? <laughs> explain this, man. Yeah, He's this playing is, on Nightmare. This is where the skill check comes in, huh? This is where the skill check... And the funny thing about it was that under the mayo pointed out how uh, people were telling him that you could play Doom Eternal on the highest difficulty with just the pistol. And people have done it, actually. Well, not Doom Eternal. Uh, Doom 2016 on the highest difficulty with just a pistol. Or that those people were only playing like Doom Eternal with like one weapon on the highest difficulty and beat the game. And he was like, that's not the point I was trying to make. <laughs> like, so what point were you trying to make? You said the game was too darn easy and that doesn't incentivize you to use other weapons. Doom Eternal is the same way if you ah, just limit yourself class. to that. Fortunately, like if you ingrain that idea again, in your head that I don't have to use don't any don't other weapon him. because the game isn't exactly like <laughs> constantly putting up some words on the screen saying the use this, use that, do this, do that. 
becoming then I'm not really sad. being incentivized to try it like, out. Like, again, apparently there is a sudden difficulty curve to encourage him to start using his entire arsenal. Oh. Gee, I wonder why. But it seems as though I can do the same even on the supposed first skill check. He's stuck. <laughs> He's actually stuck. Bro is stuck. Bro is stuck. Bro is actually stuck. Look at this. Bro it's so fucking stuck. easy. Oh, there we go, people. Wow, what a I skill am Doom check. Eternal. There we go, man. <laughs> and then Brother Nier's video pops up. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was entertaining. He claims the pistol is to prove a point in how the game is too easy and the pistol is too strong to cause experimentation, which is stupid anyway because everyone tries out a new gun when you get it. Exactly! Like, literally, when you're, when you're offered a new weapon or something or some new armor or anything in a game, a new item, what is the first thing you would think about doing? Checking it out. Seeing what it's like and using it. Okay? Like, come on now. The funny thing is, Mayo's point is that new players won't try new stuff if they find their old gear too reliable, but I'm pretty sure most players will want to try all the stuff the game gives them. He doesn't understand that at all. I don't, I, I just, it's like that logic fails to apply to him. It's odd. Um, What should we get into now? I might want to check out one more thing, maybe. I might check out one more thing, and then we're going to get into some gaming, you know? Um, let me see. Give me, give me one second, everybody. Um, give me one second. Um... Uh... I don't care about Griffin Gaming at all right now. Okay, the guy has fell off, alright? The guy has absolutely fell off. Um, Where's this God of War video at? Somebody told me that he criticized God of War 2018's combat because it didn't have a style meter in it. Which, I, another hypocritical point. Because he, he criticized Bayonetta 1, I mean, Bay, yeah, Bayonetta 1 and uh, Devil May Cry 5 for the style meter saying that it didn't really serve that much of a purpose, which is also completely false. Uh, I don't know. God of War 2005 is not a revenge story. It's half and half. What are you talking about? It's half and half. It's half a revenge story and half Kratos just wanting peace for everything that has happened to him. What, what are you talking about? Oh, and here goes one of his uh, his dumb joke video. How God will ruin Resident Evil Village? Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, here go the video right here where he was um telling people that they need to learn how to like uh I think he was telling people they need to learn how to like play Ultra. I mean, uh, do Maternal better. I got Ultra Kill on mine. Do Maternal better, and that uh they're not refu they're refusing to learn the game's mechanics and stuff in order to beat the Marauder. How good games push you into your systems? Uh, I go my video. It's at 85k views. God, you guys really stumped the views out of the darn freaking park. Um, how an other made review sounds like. Oh yeah, I remember this video. Um, what's going on? No, yeah, we just yeah we just watched that. Dang, well, okay. I don't know. Hold on, I'm trying to find... Okay, you know what? Nah, let's just find the, the God of War video where he was criticizing the game's combat and stuff. No matter what you're in the mood for, with the all-new Royal Crispy Chicken lineup at Burger King, you can't go wrong. Classic. Cheesy. Hello, I'm under the mayo. And, on and I gotta hear his voice. And freely... Woo! That sucks. Okay, where's the part where he was criticizing the combat? 
Is this it? Maybe it looks like he's playing older games right here. First one, you could just spam light light heavy for an easy combo that you could pre pretty much rely on for every encounter if you were playing on a low difficulty. There were these three no, hit power combos that, that were very good to well. use and killed enemies quickly. So I have to ask, if you could kill most things quickly with a simple three hit heavy combo, why on earth would you ever do anything else? Why would you use the air launch into a multi-hit combo, grab them in the air and bounce them back up to do it again? Why would you use the grounded spinning attack that you couldn't cancel, possibly getting yourself hit? The answer is big picture benefit. The answer is resource management and performance-based XP tied to the upgrade system. When you string together a bunch of attacks, you get an XP bonus through the combat counter. Or Wait a minute, you mean just like in Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, even though you said that uh, the style meter and the combo combo counter in those games don't do anything? You mean it works exactly the same way as it does in God of War, but you didn't acknowledge that point? You, whoa, I had no idea under the mayo. It's almost like you're being a hypocrite. Orbs, as they're called in the old games. If you just kill something with a heavy combo, you get nothing. If you string together a multi-hit move into a combo kill, the combo counter rewards you with more and more XP. And when you play on the higher, more challenging difficulties, your ability to control the fight depends on how good your upgrades are. The game incentivizes creative, fun playstyles by giving you the XP you need to become stronger. Just like Devil May Cry in Bayonetta! Whoa! But you don't acknowledge that, no, instead you say the style meters in those games are pointless and that there's no reason for you to buy new moves and stuff. So these because options it's too of easy apparently to attacks and air juggles and brutal executions aren't just there because they're fun to do and not just because they might occasionally... Uh, let me see, what's going on with chat? He's got our videos in two parts and an hour long. How God of War was in part one. The only thing I remember out of the God of War video was him ranting in the first part for like five minutes about how the jump button is going to replace the interact button for stupid people. Yeah, I found that part funny as heck. Okay. You, you're watching the wrong part. It's in part one. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to switch it then. Uh, recommendations. God of War Ragnarok reaction slash disappointment. Oh, God. I don't want to watch that video again. Not where he's literally over here just criticizing the game before it's even out yet. Also, under Mayo, buy me a PS5 so I could play God of War Ragnarok. Uh, Tron Legend, this is Ron Party coming on, like, commonly in part one of his review. Okay, yeah. Let's go check that one out real quick. Th that was absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe that. Uh, yeah, let's go back. In part one. Okay, do you know the timestamp for when he was talking about the, the combo meter and stuff? If you if you know the timestamp, I would very much appreciate it if you put it in the comments. Challenge something scary. And I'm and I gotta watch an unskippable ad and support this stupid video that I that I heavily disagree with. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks. God of War 2018 is considered by many to be the best game of the year. Even the game of this generation. I don't think it's the game of this generation. However, I never played it back in 2018 either. I played it this year and I thought it was really, really good and one of my favorite games of this year. I played it on PC. It was amazing. However, I don't think it's game of the generation. No, I, I don't. But I don't have an issue with some people who would think that it's a masterpiece. I don't think it's a masterpiece. I think it's a, it's at the very least a, you know, a flawed masterpiece and you know it's yeah it had a bunch of issues for sure i like the combat however i think the combat in the older games are better i like the boss fights for the most part i felt like it needed more enemies which is the same criticism most people have with the game is that there wasn't enough enemy variety i wasn't too much of a fan of some of the tacked on rpg elements and I thought the story was absolutely amazing. The graphics, of course, are amazing. And yeah, I thought the combat was amazing too, but I liked the combat in the older games a little better. And I felt like we needed a little bit more weapons and enemy enemy varieties and some boss fights. Some more boss fights. If it wasn't for the Valkyries and the Trials and everything like that, you know, the Valkyrie boss fights were easily the best boss fights 
out of like probably even the whole God of War franchise itself or some of those were some of the best boss fights too. Besides like, you know, the final bosses and some of the bosses in God of War 1 and 3 and stuff. But it was still a really amazing game though. I, st I still think God of War 2018 was a really amazing game. Okay. Th there you go. There's there's my review of the game. Okay. Short a little short review of how I feel. Moment in the history of gaming setting the standard for all that follow. But for me, it was a disappointment. Inserts a mind blowing meme. Uh, 22, 28 through 2230. That's when you talk about it. One, so grab no, I, I don't want to sit through 58 minutes of you just saying stupid stuff about the game. As you're fighting, you get XP at random. This is perhaps my greatest complaint about the game. There's no reason to play with any style. And what? I oh no he did not say this you're kidding no he didn't what there's no reason for you to what no 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 hold on no 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 he did not say something that dumb no things you can find the talisman of unbound potential which in yo the talismans in in the gear and stuff in this game was actually really good also, the runics, the runic attacks, and everything. I love how like the runic attacks for like the blade of for like the blade of chaos and everything were the same exact like powerful moves that you used in the older God of War games. And also, the the, the Leviathan axe is absolutely amazing. Like honestly, the Leviathan axe is easily one of the best weapons in the God of War franchise. That was a great new addition. And I love the runic attacks for both weapons. However, I felt like the Blade of Chaos needed a little bit more runic attacks. And it also needed some execution kills too because the Leviathan Axe got all of those. However, I heard from Santa Monica Studios that they put the Blades of Chaos in at the last minute. And then like they had to develop some like attacks and everything for it. But they didn't have enough time to uh, put like finishers in for the Blades of Chaos. And they also didn't have enough time to... Um, Add in some more enemy types and boss fights too, which is why there's not that many and there's like recycled enemies. Because if I'm not mistaken, Sony didn't give them enough time because they didn't believe that the God of War franchise could be revived, if I'm not mistaken. And just look how wrong they were proven. Once again, it's always once again it's always it always comes down to like Sony trying to like fuck things up with their IP. I swear. Some special abilities. So walk into a fight, use all your abilities. Drop the electric spell to stun everyone, refresh your abilities, and use them again. Fight. What? Dude, you're. Dude, the only way you're getting that ability where you use Atreus to, like, uh, stun everybody with electric arrows is um, later on in the darn game, bro. Come on now. If I'm not mistaken, this is, um, I think this, this realm he's in is Niflheim, which is where everything was, like, cold and freezing. It's like they're. Was this Niflheim? Or was this, um... Shoot. It was supposed to be almost like, uh, uh, the Norse version of, like, like, hell or everything, where, like, everything is frozen over or something like that. Fight I gotta play through God of War 2018. And as you're that fighting, game is so good, you but, yeah. get XP at random. This is perhaps my greatest complaint about the game. There's no reason to play with any style and no reason to keep your offense going because there is no combo meter. No combo meter to reward you for playing well and playing flashy. The only objective in- He did not really just say there's no combo meter to reward you for playing well and playing like stylishly or flashy. I- Oh my god, you know what? Everybody was telling me that's what he said, but after actually hearing it... Yeah. Wow. It really is just as dumb as I thought it would be. Oh, man. Not gonna lie, when Mayo talk about Bay Bayonetta and DMC's ranking system, though and nothing, I went back and played Bayo 1 and again and working to get pure platinum and realized what was he talking about. What do you mean? I mean, if you play better in Bayonetta, you get more Halos. The more you increase your style meter, and uh, the more you, you get more style points and everything, and increase the multiplier, the more halos you get, so you can buy more weapon variations for like the Durgas and everything, or like the shotgun, like the the Onyx Roses and everything. The you get to also purchase more items in Rodan's shop, you know, at the gates of hell. 
Uh, there's also talismans and accessories and everything that you can also put like the one that where if you dodge at the right time you can turn into a flurry of uh, butterflies and it negates the damage you received there's also the one to where when you're hit it will automatically activate which time to give you a moment of reprieve I like what uh, need to hear that play that back need to hear that again <laughs> like hold on wait wait hold on let me play it back real quick hold on drop the electric spell to stun everyone refresh your abilities and use them again fight over and as you're fighting you get XP at random this is perhaps my greatest complaint about the game there's no reason to play with any style and no reason to keep your offense going because there is no combo meter what didn't you literally say in your style meters analysis video that a style meter should not be it should it should not be a, a substitute for good gameplay you literally said that you said the style meter should not be a substitute for good gameplay and now you're going back on your fucking word in this video Talking about there's no reason to play defensively or stylishly or do any of that because there's not a style meter telling me to do so when you said it shouldn't be a substitute for good gameplay. So the combat is bad because of that? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You don't want to play better because there's no style meter? Is that what you're trying to say? I. How do people defend this? these points he comes up with? It's... What the... Fuck? <laughs> it causes my head to hurt so much. It doesn't make any sense. Literally, he said it shouldn't be a style. It shouldn't be a substitute for like good gameplay, the style meter and stuff. Listen, look, I'll, I'll go back to the video, his style meter video. Like, cause I'm over here yelling into the darn mic now. Hold on, let me let me calm down a little bit. Cause this does just it just doesn't make any sense. Where, where's the part at? It has some. Where's the part at? This doesn't make any sense. Science proves no, I don't want to watch an ad. I don't. Emotional and physical health. The new sleep. I, I I don't care. I don't care about this climate 360 degrees thing. I don't. Fits of engaging with this interesting systems, so that when you do. For impressing the player, because real. Oh my God! Where's the part at? mechanics and play in a fun interesting way i think a style meter is by far the worst listen not listen to style this. meters and rankings and scoring systems but they should not be a straight up substitute for good gameplay what what did you just say right there under the mail what did you just say rewind that back so everybody in chat can hear it can everybody hear this fun interesting way i think a style meter is by far the worst I'm not against style meters and rankings and scoring systems, but they should not be a straight up substitute for good gameplay. Now, what? Good gameplay uh, straight up what? Systems, but they should not be a straight up substitute for good gameplay. Whoa! You hear that, everyone? It should not be a straight up substitute for good gameplay. So, what's your issue with there not being a style meter in God of War 2018? <sighs> It's be. And every it, it, all of his diehard fans will literally sit here and defend the dumb hypocritical points he comes up with, and then he wonders why people criticize him, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> like make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. There's no style meter in God of War 2018, so I don't feel like playing defensively or stylishly because the game isn't encouraging me to do so with some arbitrary style system that isn't up on the screen that's telling me to do better. However, in God of War, you know, there's a style meter in the older games that make me, if I play better, I get more orbs to upgrade weapons, but I want to acknowledge that in Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, it has the same system. I'll just say it it's completely useless. Like... <laughs> oh my god it it doesn't make sense it doesn't ironic coming from the one who loves fighting games how is god or any different from any fighting game he loves he also said a style meter is the worst way to incur stylish play i know he literally said it right there so what 
guys. <laughs> this guy pisses me off as much as Grifter Gaming. Heard it clear as day, caught in 4K. Like I said before, I think a style such common meter is at least the bare minimum requirement for playing stylishly. Like, honestly, I feel like Bayonetta has the best style meter in, in, in like, almost any game. Like, Bayonetta, God of War, God Hand, and Devil May Cry have, like, the best style meters ever. Like, seriously. And if I'm not mistaken, Devil May Cry was the one that came up with, like, style meters for, like, action games anyway, right? I think. Point me out if I'm wrong on that. But, yeah. But out of all of those games, I think Bayonetta and um, God Hand have the two best style style meters or, like, style systems in games. In God Hand, the better you play, the more difficult the game becomes. It's literally a bar to where if you play much better, the game increases in difficulty. Like, literally, the enemies will hit harder, faster, and the game will just keep on increasing. And this is in real time, too. This is in real time, in God Hand. The, the difficulty will just increase the better you play. And in Bayonetta, the better you play, the more points you get. But also, you gotta, like, dodge attacks, do certain moves, uh, do certain torture attacks and everything, and increase the, like, style points, and then increase the multiplier for those style points, and that'll net you more halos. Um, it's a Chewbacca defense. It does not make sense. Well, my comment was written before he played that part. I believe it was DMC that started the ranking system. Okay, so yeah, I think it was. I think DMC one was the starting of the ranking system too, right? I think so. It it just. And hold on, hold on. Wait, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing, because I had people telling me that the fact that he was telling, uh, saying that Halo Infinite should add like. Uh, enemies dropping, like, health or, like, shield pickups and everything does not mean that he's trying to make the game like Doom or, like, old-school FPS boomer shooters. And I was like, so what are you trying to tell me that he's trying to make the game like then if he's over here saying, well, uh, I, I just think that it would be a good idea if Halo Infinite put in, like, uh, enemies that occasionally drop health packs or, like, shield pickups to regenerate health and increase you to stop, you know, taking cover whenever you, you uh, take damage and your shield is gone. It is the dumbest thing ever. Like, people would literally defend any point he come up with and then act like he can't be criticized. Like, I, I, I don't have an issue with this guy. I have an issue with the points that he comes up with and how much of a hypocrite he acts with, okay? There was literally people telling me in my comment section that, I, that the fact that I made these videos on him criticizing his takes means that I hate the guy. Like, what? I'm sorry, man. I, I hate Under the Mayo? Really? <laughs> oh my lord it was the funniest thing ever like there's really people out there who think that I hate under the mail because of those videos I made on him I didn't even make a lot of videos on him I made three videos on him come on now three videos and one of them nobody really even watched except like 50 people I only got like 50 or so views on that video this was back when I was just starting out my channel like, if you guys want to hear... Well, actually, no. The video's kind of old and crappy. My commentary in that video was, was awful. But, yeah. Because when I opened the map and looked at... Where's the part at where he was talking about how he want... Um... No, wait. It wasn't in this video. It was in his I Can Fix Halo Infinite video. Here it is. No shield regen. This is where he was talking about he would, like, wish that enemies would, like, occasionally drop, like, hell for Something shield Something to keep you moving. Personally, on top of shield recharge... I think this is the part right here, too. and of course, an ad plays itself. right when the part comes up. Where all your tabs go. Skip. Large pickups on the ground. I think it would be cool to occasionally have enemies drop small personal health packs and you make see this? shield regeneration dependent upon manual use shield charge. Okay, he only said they Say should drop shield health packs, not shield, super like, not like slow. shield packs. Too. And if you want, but still, my point still stands, man. That he he literally wanted the enemies in Halo to just occasionally drop health packs. And I was like. That's so stupid. No. No. I was like, no. This isn't... No. Um, I personally prefer the OG God of War. I have to say, I did find his vids on the OG series interesting. But I mean, 2018 is a different game and different genre and has an amazing story. I don't... I don't want... I wouldn't say it's a different genre. It's still a hack and slash, people. Okay? 
It's it's an it's a third person over the shoulder hack and slash game. The only the only difference is that it's in third person, but it's still a hack and slash to an extent. Okay. As a male watcher, I think it's weird to think you hate him. That's what I was telling people. Like, come on now. Like, I I, I don't hate this guy. Okay. Like a majority of the people that I covered on my channel, I well, uh, yeah. Pretty much none of the, none of the people I've covered on my channel, okay, I I harbor any like ill will towards, except that one video that I covered where there was literally like a freaking, uh, yeah, that was possibly my darkest video to date that I covered still, where uh that 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 one sick individual for those of you who know about that video, but um. No, not necessarily. Just because you criticize someone doesn't mean you hate them. That's what I was telling them. Is that I'm just criticizing some of the hypocritical takes he comes up with. I don't hate the guy. No shield, shield region, huh? <laughs> the new God of War style is fun in some way for sure. I think the story is a little overrated. Okay. You know what? All right, we're we're done talking about other than mail though. We're done. Oh man, we're we 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 are done. Let's uh. Press an F1 art. I don't know why the screen is not. Okay. Alright, activate Windows because I don't know what's going on. Where is. Where the heck is. Uh... There it is. Nope, there we go, there we go. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Did it start up? Yes, it did. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, hopefully, hopefully the darn sound on this game does not actually reverberate either, because... Please stand by. There we go. Finally. Continue from where we left off. Fallout New Vegas. This game is great. Alright, fall on New Vegas. Back in it. Oh, please don't lag. Come on now. I'm running this on, on ultra settings, by the way. Everything is maxed out. What game is this? This is Fall on New Vegas. Uh oh, well, there go the dead raiders I killed. How you like them grenades? Suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. What's going on with the audio? What the heck? Anyway, you must be Deputy well, I guess Beagle. I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Okay. I hear you may have some information on some cons, but they came through came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. How'd you end up being hot? Yeah, let's ask him how you end up even being a hostage. Low point in my career in law enforcement. You playing with mods or the vanilla? Nah, this is vanilla. Town at night, and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, 
waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Um, okay, I My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Uh, shoot, my speech isn't even enough. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. Oh, uh, no, nah, he's gonna try and run away, isn't he? Hmm. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Yeah. I bet you that threat worked, huh, buddy? I don't plan to come back to the bison, Steve, much in the years to come. If I ever get out of it. You know, yeah, I let's give him a weapon. I just hope I won't have to use it. Uh, I'll give him this one. That's fine. Let's get going. And come depart, on. we will. Don't try anything funny. Come on. Oh, wait, actually, what was back here? Watch it. What's in here? Scrap metal. Uh... For some resources, maybe to build stuff. I don't know. Uh. There we go. There we go. Oh shoot! I closed the door myself. All right, come on. Oh, it just leads back over here. Yeah, you kidding me? Okay, come on. Hey, come on. Where's the exit at? Oh yeah, tripped him down to nothing. New Vegas was okay. I felt like active health regen and skill-based platforming would have really added to the experience. <laughs> I see what you did there with that under the mail impression. I can't. You know, you people are funny as heck. I can't. Mm, where'd he go? Where is he? Is he still in the building? Or did I just walk? I don't know. I'm blind, people, okay? I'm pretty sure that was. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey there. Excuse me. Coming through. What in <laughs> what the hell? What an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself. Yo, somebody clip this, please. I'm begging no you. Somebody has to clip ah, yes. this moment. <laughs> my memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was skull, uh, performing recon. Get they were talking. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contract there. <laughs> When people told me Fallout New Vegas was kind of buggy, I didn't I didn't believe them because I didn't have any issues with the game before. But now that I'm streaming, this happens. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. I I wow. Howdy. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> He's he flew through the roof. Oh man, that is that is an absolutely funny moment. Wow. Um, I'm sorry, I, I got a good laugh out of that. One. Wow. All right, just nip to it. Right. I don't know, maybe should I, I should go exploring somewhere though. I cannot believe that just happened on stream. That was so funny. How he was literally just stuck in the roof. Hmm. 
What is this? The poisonous pit? Well, I'm not dying, so I guess I can walk over it. You shouldn't have crossed the powder gangers. Now you're going to pay. Who the heck are you? Uh -huh. Powder gangers, eh? How about you powder this? There we go. Shoot him in the leg. Yeah, cripple him. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. That. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's okay. That's not good at all. I don't know who the heck this powder gang people is, but you know what? 357. Oh, oh, snap! Grenades. Oh, that's good. No. If the audio could just stop like doing that on my end, I don't know if that's happening for you guys, but the audio is absolutely just going out. So. Oh, so I'm gonna. Okay, okay. I don't even know what's happening. Who are you guys? Who are you? Oh. Alright, I need I need to heal. Uh go. Some vodka. Mm. That's good. Uh you got on you. Ooh, you got more magnum ammo. That's good. Turbo. Where'd that other guy go? Where'd he go? Don't know. He completely disappeared. He up and left his buddy. And I'm not seeing him on the mini-map either. Is that him? He's running. Oh, wait, no, that's not him. That's someone else. And that's a... What the heck is that? What is that? Uh-oh. I aggroed it. Yeah. Oh, worker hand. Oh. Ew. I don't know how dangerous you guys are. Clearly not dangerous enough. That's, that's nasty. Oh, it's radioactive waste over there. What in the world? That looks like something out of Resident Evil. Oh, snap. Ew. What was Obsidian thinking coming up with these creature designs?
And uh, so Alright, there we go. What the heck are those? Big Horner? Okay. They're not enemies, are they? I would hope not. Oh, snap. I think it's dying. There we go. That's what That's what the FPS is for. Whoa! Okay. Alright, I don't want to aggro, aggro you guys. You guys look pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Oh, never mind. I can't go through there. Okay. Typical Bethesda. Never mind, I'm trying to squeeze through there, but I can't. You have discovered Nipton. What the heck happened here? Whoa. Are you guys enemies? Oh. I guess not, but what's going on? Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want what? to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. What? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Hold Profited on, so... Troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. So you just Where killed these people? The agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yeah, you ca yes. you you captured all those people and just killed them. Town. I What's told wrong them with you? Things, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his evil, feet, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when. Loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Uh, the focus at trying to let. What do you think it will take for Mayo to appreciate different genres? Um, to just get his head up out of his ass and actually, you know, try new things, and don't limit his darn self to just a few singular darn genres. I get, I guess, genres. I guess you know. I don't know. It's all up to him. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. If he doesn't want to try out new things, then that's fine. Like he can't be upset when he does when he tries out something and doesn't understand it because he didn't take the time to actually learn it, and then people criticize him for that. I don't know. I just feel like at the end of the day he got to get his head up out of his ass and stop stroking his ego off so darn much. You slaughtered innocent civilians. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Ha. Innocent, hardly. Cowardly though, they outnumbered us. Yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, 
crucified. So you kill? Are you telling me you literally just killed defenseless they people? And hope their turn would not you come. killed innocent and defenseless people who didn't even put up a fight or resist against you. What is wrong with you? As are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. Hmm. Really now. Don't make me use my darn save. You don't know the power of a true gamer. I can just save right here, right now, and constantly retry over until I completely wipe you out. But that probably won't be a very fun stream. So. Uh, plus, I don't want to kill the dogs. So. so instead of, you know, doing that, how about we try this? Oh, I killed the dogs. God darn it! Not the... No! Darn it, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. Forget it now, I guess. It's too late. It's too late. Just... Oh, shoot. My, fame, my frame rate is just dipping. It is dipping. going on with the audio. What is with his armor, too? Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm really feeling something right now, huh? I'm really feeling just how many of you I killed. Eat some dynamite. Ah. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I missed. Uh oh. There we go. I became vilified by them? Oh. Tell me how much I care. <laughs> Sorry, Fallout. Tell me how much I absolutely care, though. And now justice has been served to this town. Although there's nothing left, so... Can't really say I, I avenged anything. There's nothing left of it. Uh, it sucks. Oh, uh, really? It really just crashed. Really now, Vegas? And I didn't even save. Oh no! It didn't even save, did it? Oh wait, no, maybe it auto saved when I walked in the building. Oh man, I'm hoping it auto saved. Alright, give me one moment everybody, I'll be back in just a few minutes.
Alright everyone, I am back. Went to go make myself a nice little snack real quick that I got on. Boy is feeling quite hungry. Oh, it did auto-save. Now that is absolutely amazing. Great. Good. Oh boy, they really killed everybody in this town. Man. Ugh. That is depressing. Doesn't seem like there's anything left here. Oh, there's enemies here, though. Oh. Oh, the doggos. Oh snap, it really just killed me. That sucks. All right. Maybe instead of just using the one the one round shotgun, I should use the uh Let's use a cleaver. Oh snap, they hit hard. Oh no. Alright, hold on. Do I got any more doctor bags? I don't, and that sucks. Okay, there's um That was a close call. Okay. Any health is good health. Woo, okay, I know I've been a little bit quiet, but man, that really took every ounce of my darn will right now to just focus and get that out of the way because I nearly died again. Alright, so let's see what's all even here. If there's really anything left, since it seems like they just burned and killed me. Mm. 
There's more? Oh, my leg. Oh, no, my leg. My good leg. my condition looking like for this. Let's... Much better. But let's use the, um... Oh, snap! There's mines! Oh, no. Yeah, my conditions are not looking good right now, people. I didn't think there'd be mines in here either. Prickly pear fruit, some scotch, sc scotch, Ugh. Uh, some Nuka Cola, bottle caps. That's good. Everybody loves Nuka Cola. What is with the music in this area? This is so creepy. What's this? That was just a pencil. Okay, I thought it was a map for something. And the lock broke. Great. Big book of science. Mentats. Well, I think, I don't think there's really anything left in here. There really is nothing left. They didn't burned everything to the darn ground and stuff. Much else. That sucks. Let's see what's over here. Coffee mug? I don't want that. 
Every day is a good day to die. Whoa! What is that? Oh, a robot. And I'm out of it. No, I'm out of it. Mr. Gutsy Prototype. Sorry, buddy, but you attacked me first. Uh, I watched your video about that troglodyte who made a review for Edge Runners. That guy knows that Outlandish takes equal more views. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he got over 90, 92k views on that video. And yet, check out his channel and see all his other videos where he talks about different stuff. He doesn't even come close to like 2% of those amount of views when he talks about anything else. He has to crap on stuff in order to get views. Oh, workman station. That's good. Okay. Alright, that's sweet. Uh. Ew, an ear? That's gross. This is a safe. Well, I don't got a lot to pick for it, so that sucks. It's a shotgun. Already got that kind, though. Um, what else is even in here? Doesn't seem like there's really anything else. Okay. It's odd. Welding gun. Uh. Alrighty then. I. Who knows? Yeah, let's. Let's just save. All right, give me one moment, everybody. I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm back. Let's play it for a little bit more. Woof. Ah, okay. Nipton should be over there then. Hello, hello. Hello, how's it going, uh, Twisted Velocity TTV? Why do I feel like... I thought he'd be over here or something. I guess not.
What is that? That looks like some kind of mine or something. Maybe not? Okay. I literally just said it was a mine or something right there, too. Well, somebody here. Actually, there's two enemies here. What is that? They got mines every now. Just twisty is fine. How's life? Yeah, everything's good. Everything's going fine for me so far. Uh, I'm back. It's up, everybody. Yo, welcome back to the stream, Drewski Gaming. How's it going? That was an instant kill. Okay. Um. Pair. Actually, no. Yeah, because... In combat, you do 10 plus damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. Uh, Church is a lot of femme. In combat, you do 10 plus damage against female opponents outside of combat. Okay. Alright, so I see. All throwing weapons fly fast, or farther and faster for you, Hunter. In combat, you do 75 plus critical damage against enemies, protected animals. Tense training perk, you can put a single point in any of your special attributes. Retention, the bonus is gained by skill magazines, last three times as long. Okay, okay, you just learn faster. Combat mode, you gain the option to eat corpse or again. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. You gain double. You gain double the bonus from reading magazines and additional points from skill books. You gain two more skill points every time you advance in this level. This perk is best taken on early to maximize its effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll take that. Okay. Oh boy, one thing about Bethesda games is that there's a lot of walking until you get like the fast travel option and stuff. That's one thing I really do dislike sometimes. Oh, I'm stuck on the turn. Um. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? 
Oh, okay, we're gonna have a big issue here. What is going on? Why am I stuck? Why, what is this? Obsidian. What is going on? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Load the save and see if I get unstuck or something. Because I have no idea what's going on. And why I'm stuck. What the heck? And it didn't fix it. Can I? Well, this is surely one way to go out with a bang. It didn't fix anything. What is going on? What is happening? Why am I stuck? It what? What is this? I'm stuck. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it didn't even work. Okay. Let's let's try again. Alright. It's not working. Okay, alright, let's go to let's go to the main menu. I don't know what's going on. I wouldn't mind traveling on foot in Bethesda games if there was an increased counter rate. Yeah, okay, that okay, I, I, that makes sense. Um, let's exit and then and then enter again. Got no idea what's going on. Yes. Okay, start up anyway. I got no idea what's going on with Fallout New Vegas and why it's doing it. You know what? Next stream, next stream, we're definitely gonna play some Toho Luminites for sure. That would be great. Either that, or maybe I should, maybe I should play Tales of Berseria. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing Tales of Berseria, but I love that game. That game is great. So next stream, I'm gonna decide on either playing Tales, um, Tales of Berseria or Toho Luminates. That'd be good. I would be, I would play Borderlands 3, but that game is like 100 gigabytes, okay? And my laptop does not have enough space at all. <laughs> That's why it's just sitting in my Steam library. I played it once, and while I think the gameplay is amazing and the story is absolutely cringe, I still think it's a great game, but it just takes up way too much space. Like, way too much. Okay, yeah, I'm still stuck. Alright, let's load up a different save. Um, this one. Alright, give me one second while I go grab me some grub real quick. I believe it's done.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Now then, hopefully that little darn bug or whatever it was where I got stuck on the rock geometry will not happen again. Let's continue playing this for a little bit more. I'm having some real good fun over here with Fallout New Vegas. This game's great. Maybe I should use those spears again, since that seemed to be very effective now that I know what's coming. Ready for you now. Hmm. Okay. That's where the mine was. And of course I missed. Does that not set it off or something? Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Yoink! Oh, that missed. Well, that sucks. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You guys are dangerous, I get it. So, uh, how about this? How about we do this? Where'd he go? Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm about to die. Looks like they were more prepared than I was. Right, walking and walking and walking. Day seven of me walking to the middle of nowhere without any encounters or exciting things happening. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Almost up the mountain or hill. Hey, you're making me waste bullets. Nice. Come on. Come on. Ooh, whoa. That was yikes, even for me. That was something. Really something. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm not hitting them from this far away. They're up on the mountain peak. That's oh snap. They got mines everywhere. Enough. 
Missed. That's horrible. Oh, my AP is low. That's not good. Got him. Take cover, take cover, take cover, take cover. Where's the other one at? And uh, actually, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with educated again. I have any more bullets for this? No, I don't. Oh, look at that. It's the Fallout 3 gun. Alright, let's continue making our way over here to... What's it? Supposed to be going to... there. Hopefully this time. Seems like we're at a broken down windmill. What's this? Who lives here? Stash box. Scrap metal, either. The word of wolf horn farm, farmhouse. Okay. Hello? Anybody home? Is anybody here? Guess not. Alright, give me one moment. I'll be back once again, everybody.
All right, everybody, I'm back once again. Freaking Bethesda games. I hope they increase the encounter rate in Elder Scrolls 6 so we won't be walking around from it on end without an encounter abusing the fast travel gets annoying after a while. Yeah, it really does. As much as I love, like, Skyrim and Oblivion and stuff like that, it gets really boring when you gotta walk around half the time and there's nothing going on. Hmm... But seriously, I need some help and stuff. Oh boy. Um. You know what? Let's go back to. Let's go back to. To the let's go to Good Springs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what, what the heck? Where I was trying to go. Mm, I don't even remember. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Yeah, I remember. Sure. What do you want to know? That's it. No, if you yeah. And Are you seeing that in the distance? Look at that. That's weird. It's like that texture is, is having a conniption fit. That's odd. Okay. Mm. Wake up. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If I'll be the judge of that. Caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Alright, sure. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's okay, also sweet. hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. All right, sweet man. Show me what you got for sale. Can do. How many caps I got? Two hundred and forty-five. Wait, yeah, those are my caps. So, yeah. So uh, 42. Mm -hmm. So uh, no, keep my frag grenades. Those are uh, okay. <laughs> want those? Um, Ripper? Nah, keep that. I want that. I don't care about that. Okay. There we go. Now, then, let's see what you have. Um, I need some. No, wait, no. Actually, keep that one. I might need some. Three. 
recharge a rifle. Yes, doctor's bag. I need one of those. Patch myself up with. Some, uh... Do I have a 38? No, I don't. I don't think I do. Buy all of them actually. 357. Let's get some uh, hollow points as well for the 357. Then let's get the Oh, there's a super stem pack, so keep the repeater. I'm gonna keep the repeater. I'm gonna get rid of the I don't really use stealth, so I don't need that. Um Where's that, uh, that recharger rifle? I might... Might want that. Hmm. Alright, now then. Okay, there we go. Sweet, Thanks. sweet, sweet, sweet. Take it easy now. All right, good. You can increase the encounter in Skyrim if you become a criminal stealing in front of NPCs. Huh. Actually, yeah, I think I do know that, actually. Right? I think that is a... Yeah, I think that actually is a thing. All right, so... Start to... Right, and save. Okay. All right, let's head back to where we was. I guess we can't fast travel there. Oh, never mind. We can. We did fast travel. Sweet. I hear shooting. What is going on? Recruit Legionnaire. Let's check this out real quick. Just 
shooting at each other with laser rifles. Let's see who wins in this infighting that's going on. Oh, look at that. Two-headed cows. Didn't think it'd become a reality. What's going on here? Traveling merchant. What hey you there. got on? Need anything? Yeah, let me see your wares. What you got? Uh, single shotgun. Okay. You know, actually, I just got done buying some stuff, so that's fine. Wow, they got completely wasted. Eesh. Feels bad. Might take your stuff and sell it, though. Oh snap, I'm encumbered. Oh, that's bad. Can't be having that happen, so let's drop something. Drop that. Drop. Uh, this. And drop. Yeah, we can drop that. Okay, drop, drop that. I don't even know why I grabbed it. All right. Didn't Bethesda at one point release a working pit boy for one of the Fallout games? I actually do not know, but I will check that out. Actually, yeah, I think they actually did, didn't they? The the little the little Fallout pit boy thing, yeah. That's pretty much their whole darn logo right there for Fallout. The little pit boy guy. Like anything Fallout related, he's always advertised with it, I swear. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of shooting in the distance. Over there, I'm pretty much guessing, maybe. Legion Raid Camp. Uh oh. Why do you got these innocent people tied up here? Wait, innocent? No. Wait, it's from the Potter game. You guys raided our darn town and, and, and uh, what was it? In, uh, Good Springs, man. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, remember, you guys raided the darn town in Good Springs. Oh boy. True to Kaiser. Fruit Legionnaire, eh? I want to say it was Fallout 4 they did it with. Yeah, I believe so. Where that shooting's coming from, but it's not aimed at me. Hey, what's up? Give me cause, profligate. Alrighty then, I guess. Profligate. Alright, I think we're finally here, maybe, hopefully. Oh! What is that in the distance? What the heck is that 
that a dinosaur? What is that? Is that a dinosaur? Oh, well, it's not real. Eat this. Well, I don't know what you thought was going to happen, that you were going to kill me. Sorry. Uh, no. I got aim. Mm. Where the heck did y'all come from? Oh no. I need to heal. Need to heal. There we go. Yep. Sheesh. Got anything on you? Got some rat away. That's good. And, uh. Oh, I'm over encumbered? Ah, I gotta drop something again. Drop these tire irons, I don't need those. And this baseball bat, I don't use that either. Ooh, a submachine gun? What? Do I become addicted to scotch? Yeah, that happens, trust me. That happens a lot. Give me a moment, everybody. I'll be back in just a sec. That was pretty good. All right, I'm back, everybody. Mm. Got me some grub. Um, Dark Steel Heart, AO. The audio isn't looping anymore. Nice. Yeah, I fixed it. Um, after I got off the live stream, the the last stream. Sorry, got some food food in my mouth. Um, Drewski Gaming, go to a merch and and sell your extra gear. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Actually, I don't want to be over encumbered again. 
Uh -oh. <clears throat> Let me just um get over here real quick. So hopefully I won't have to like walk all the way back from Wolf Ranch again, and I can just fast travel straight to here. At least that's what I'm hoping. I've discovered Novak. Oh, sweet. And there go the dinosaur I saw in the distance. That's funny. two-headed cow again. Oh, no, I don't know why it's pink. Oh, that's why it doesn't have any skin. I mean, no fur. It has skin, no fur, though. What in the world? Uh... Novak? Okay. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Um, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah. I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Let's see what's going on now. Um, what is this place? I like to rent a room. Yeah, actually, I'm looking for a man in a checkered outfit. He might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. 
Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bike Gift Shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Okay. Watch out for strangers. All right, I think I'm going to save and call it quits right here. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for coming out toward the darn stream and everything and seeing the darn Under the Mayo videos and watching me play some Fallout New Vegas. 